My name is Grant Garmazy, and I'm a professional glass artist. I've been blowing glass for 16 years and uh, loving every minute of it. And I'm Erin Garmazy, I'm Grant's wife, and we have a glass blowing and flame working studio in Richmond, where we live and work. I've always been a sculptor and artist with other mediums and I went to Virginia Commonwealth University. I actually found glass by complete accident when I was walking by the studio and just kind of it caught me out of the corner of my eye. I had to try it. So I tried it and it was the second I gathered I was hooked. I was like this medium is so magical and it can do so many things. When I first started blowing glass I was making vessels and cups and things like that and I've always really liked like a tedious process of creating small parts and assembling them together and that's how I create my work. I'll make a ton of tiny leaves or petals and then assemble them. So I really think of Grant as a sculptor like sculpting this mass but I'm more like to me it's more like I'm putting a puzzle together. For me, the difference in our process is from the hot shop to the flame shop. For me, it's very quick. You know, we make a sculpture from start to finish in three to eight hours. It allows me to make multiples of the same thing and allow me to really give Aaron really the best one that I can make. The timing is, is a huge difference for sure. I can work on a piece for months, set the piece down, I can heat it back up, come back to it later, create parts and really take my time and I'm and I, I enjoy that a lot. And now that we've started collaborating, it's kind of hard to ever see myself having like my own kind of work by myself. They just have like such a, a voice now. That's funny, I feel the exact same way. I've always been attracted to animal imagery in my work. Um, growing up in a rural setting, uh, it was always around me, nature was all around me. I feel like I related a lot to animals and like reading emotions on animals' faces and kind of like being able to try to relay that in the work. I've always been interested in snakes. They're always seductive and dangerous and... A snake is such a powerful image. If you see one, either in art or a real snake, it's like you, you have a reaction to that. People either like, they hate it and they scream and they want to run away or people are intrigued by them, but I don't think there's a single person on earth who sees a snake and is like ambivalent. Like, they lend themselves to glass so well, like, when they come out of the annealer they still look alive. I also love the idea that you know snakes are always evolving, always changing, and always shedding their skins and starting anew. Texture is very important in my work, it just brings the piece to life. It's, it, glues everything together for me. And it's my favorite part. I am working towards getting that texture on. That's that's when I'm like excited. I, everything's so glassy most of the time and I really want to take that away. I want to start adding those uh, those textures really help me like get excited about the work and excited about the pieces. The Chrysler is so special to me. You know, we've been here so many times that the, the studio feels very familiar and, and very comfortable. Just being here for like an entire week and being able to work all day and really focus on the work is like a gift that I don't get. I don't get to just sit and flame work for eight hours a day, ever. I can't remember how I found out about the Chrysler uh, assistantship. I thought it was an amazing opportunity and I was very excited to, to be in a museum setting. It was just a game changer to be able to see the possibilities of glass and like how far you could go with it professionally. It was really cool and now to be back as the first ever uh, alumni visiting uh, artist assistantship person uh, is again surreal. It's just uh, I'm super honored. I can't wait to uh, you know see where all this goes and always be part of the Chrysler story.